please. Please I mute Ayana. Thank you. You're welcome. And shout out to our, our web host, Tammy Lee. Thank you so much for being here. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, so today I got a few things happen. I'm gonna roast some, um, I got a bunch of roasted veggies. I'm gonna roast some sweet potatoes with chili and cumin. I got some beets. I'm gonna do a honey balsamic uh, roasted, uh, roasted beet. I'm so excited, y'all. And then I have a delicious uh, smoothie with the main ingredients are blueberries, which are in season now. Yes, thank you very much. And I have a coconut veggie stew with fresh mm, powders. That carrots, sounds delicious. Ginger. Ooh. Um, I think I'm gonna put some squash in there. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. Fresh thyme. And you know, of course, all organic because that's how we do. Yes. Mm -hmm. well, how yeah. In the kitchen? Yes. Yeah. So everybody, you, you please stay to the end because at the end we're gonna um, we're gonna gather everybody's information and send you out the recipes for everything that's going on. And, um, and we have incentives too, right? Oh my gosh! Yes, we have the incentives. So we got and we're gonna have a little poll and we're gonna um, do a, an incentive, like a twenty dollar incentive for people who are 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 here and um, participate. So please, please, please stay tuned. And so you can tell, it's like Hunia right now, she's really like jamming them up with the food. It's like all of the stuff is, like most of the stuff is in season. I don't know if all of it is, but I'm sure as much stuff as possible because we love, you know, going out and grabbing the fresh fruits and veggies. And um, like, you know, we're gonna be tying it up together and we're gonna really be talking about like increasing our our fruits and vegetables every day and as quiet as it's kept we don't want to keep it quiet um, we're, it's, uh, uh, suggested that we eat at least half of our food on our plate as uh, fresh fruits and vegetables it's like the other half you might like have a little protein or your little carbs but the main thing is to eat half of your plate and fruits and vegetables a day to build up your system and and your immunity and yeah. your 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 health and vitality and um a really interesting thing that they're finding out right now they're always finding out stuff that's new about the covid virus and one thing that they're finding out now is that even if you don't have diabetes, high blood sugar in your system is uh, um, something that can possibly cause a, a, um, a bad outcome. So decreasing the amount of sugar in your diet is really, really important. Um, yeah, and uh, speaking of which, um, I think it's important now to, uh, to, to talk to you about somebody who's really, uh, um, an amazing person for Berkeley. Um, she is, is uh, Joy Moore. She's a community activist um, in Berkeley, um, retired um, Berkeley healthcare worker. And um, she works on the advisory board um, and volunteers sometimes at um, uh, KPFA, uh, free speech community radio station for hosting and um, the producer of special programs. She works um, with um, gardening with the youth and is just a very, very powerful person. And um, yeah, it, it's like, and uh, she's really one of the main major people instrumental in starting the sugar sweetened beverage tax, which is actually one of the our funders. So um, I'd like to give it up to Joy Moore. And uh, yay! And I, I know I was singing your praise, but you know, I'd love for you to please fill in the bl blanks and tell us a little bit more about yourself. Well, thank you for that. Um, I don't want to take all the credit. Berkeley is an amazing place. In fact, the Bay Area is. I would include Oakland in that as well. Yes. We uh, a very vibrant, intelligent, compassionate African-American community lives here. And there's no geographical division between Oakland and Berkeley. Um, the people in Berkeley and Oakland share some of the same issues um, and the same health outcomes that um, Oakland does. Also, um, I want to begin by reminding everybody, well, my, my grandparents were Muslim. And one of the things I learned, I read a book when I was 12 years old called How to Live to Eat. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. And the, the book um, took in, the, the book took into account our socioeconomic status in this country. So mm -hmm. in other words, he made uh, Elijah Muhammad made a connection between our socioeconomic status and our physical health. And what he said was, you look, you grow the food yourself if you can, and if you if you don't buy food that are whole, not processed, and that contain vitamins and nutrients. For example, the basic of of his diets was beans. They had bean soup, bean yeah. pie, bean pudding, bean stew. You name it. Why? Because it's full of protein, easy to grow, and inexpensive, full of nutrients. Yes. So yes. beans were a staple. But um, there are so many things that are affecting us. But I wanted to, this is the biggest idea for me. Your body reflects what you eat. Your brain, your heart, your liver, your stomach, your legs, your arms work because you eat food. And the food that you eat helps you work better. Absolutely. So what I'm telling people is Absolutely. I want to yes. processed food. So that's what I work on. That's been my that's been my focus since 1999 when my grandson was born. And I, this is the last thing, and I'm gonna let it go. Why I do this work? Why this is so important? Yes, I learned about healthy food eating when I was 12, but I didn't practice it. I really didn't. I just yes. ate McDonald's like everybody else. But when my grandson formed, it was very fortuitous that the year he was born, the city of Berkeley did a health study of the health of the citizens in this city. And that report said that my grandson had a 40% less chance of living to the age of 40 mm. than his counterparts in the hills. Mm -hmm. And that upset me. And that's why I became a food activist. That's why I encourage people to grow their own food. And that's why I encourage people to stay away from processed food, drink more water, and get 10 hours of sleep a night. We will be healthier for it. Oh, them babies will get you motivated, won't they? Yeah, they mm -hmm. do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it just like just being around, being up and right there for you. I love it. It's like you are so on fire. It's it's it's, it's great to <laughs> see somebody with the passion. And just talking about the beans, it's like I just went shopping. I got so many beans that it's like it's like my my partner. He's like, I don't want to see another bean, but it's it's like not <laughs> only the protein but the fiber. Yeah, yes. you know, and, and mash him up, nutrients. mash him up, and mix him with something else. He won't even know. Beans and greens. No, yeah, I think the part though I need to green. do is put the little put the little baking soda in it. You know, yeah, so it beans takes and care of, Yes, eat the beans, eat the greens. It. Yeah, it's that's really it. really important. Yeah, so it's like that's a um, yeah that that's it. But I never heard of no bean pudding. That's a different yeah, one. Bean pudding. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah, I never book. heard of it. Either. It has recipes in the book. The book is still out there. It's called How to Eat to Live. And there's recipes in there. It's a it's a it must be good. We made it from beans. It I was know. Good. It's yeah. Good. Yeah. See that so, have you had, you had bean like pie? Have you had bean pie? Oh yeah, everybody oh, had yeah. bean pie. Everybody. Like, it's my bean mom pie said. without the without it's bean bean pudding is bean pie without the crust. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> my mom, yeah, my mom made the best bean pie. <laughs> I can too. I make a mean bean pie too. Okay. But this okay. is the difference. I'm right growing down. my beans. My beans are growing Ooh. in the garden right now. Oh, so my I gosh. can't wait till they're ready. I'm going to yeah. make a bean pie. So, yeah, you know, what? Have, I, I have an issue here because mm. I've known Joy for about 10 years and I have not had bean pie. I'm I was right just now. thinking that. I'm it's like we're gonna have to right throw down some bean pie. Okay. <laughs> okay. I make it. I make it every year for my students. Y'all just haven't been here, but yeah, I can mm. do that. I can do, I have that. To do that. I'll share the recipe with y'all. How about that? That sounds like a plan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so you you were kind of all over it. It's like you've already talked about like how the important one of the questions I was going to ask you is about the importance of uh, of us growing our food and eating more food, and you kind of already touched on that pretty well. well growing our food is something bigger than just our health. It is our health for sure. 
It's our culture. We yes. come from the earth. We come from the earth. Just like those beans grow out of the ground, we came out of there too. So mm -hmm. what I'm saying is we have a natural connection to the earth that we need to fertilize and, and promote and keep going. When we plant, plant a seed in the ground and a bean comes up, it's the magic of life that keeps us breathing. It's the same thing. We don't know how that bean got here and we don't know why we continue to breathe, how we got here. That magic, that connection to the earth, is what I want to foster in my students, that we are the earth, we are stewards of the earth, we should know about the earth and marvel at the magic of the earth to produce a bean so I can make bean pudding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a power in that. It's power in that. Yeah. Feeding yeah, yourself. I yeah, I have a little garden. Yeah, I have a little garden myself. And um, I just started it. I used to have a garden all the time, but I live in an apartment. And our landlord is just basically letting us take a piece of land that he has landscaping on. And we're going at it. We're putting in. We're, and, and it's like what I've been doing is just getting out there when I need a little peace of mind and just to relax. And, and 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 meditate for a minute yeah. and just a little tiny minute of just being out there and just just touching the dirt and touching the plants well it's serotonin in the dirt the serotonin is mm. what we need to help us stay calm it helps the brain mm -hmm. and also when you meditate what you're really doing again is connecting to the natural forces of the planet when you start breathing that's a natural act when you go out and weed or pull up upstarts because we don't have any weeds in our garden. We call them upstarts. But when you do that, you're communing with the earth. There's a, a value to it. I can't put any money on it. We want to label and value everything oh, monetarily. And I'm telling you, there's no monetary value. Going out into the garden, putting your hands in the soil, watching something grow, marveling at the sun, watering it, taking care of it and harvesting it. That's what we should be here for. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. To eat, to love, and make more people to eat and love. That's what we were put here to do. Yes. We added all the airplanes and the fax machines and the computers. We added all that stuff. What we're really here for is to grow food, to eat it, and to make more people to grow food and eat it. And steward all the making love. Yes. yes. Oh, and yeah. steward the earth. But one mm -hmm. thing you said that I really want to remark on, you said you needed, you had a garden. You used to have a garden. Can I tell you? A garden is a pot with a plant growing in it. Come on now. Live in an apartment. I don't care if you only have a balcony, just a doorstep. Okay, you can get a pot, take the bottoms of your green onions. You know how you buy green onions? You cut the bottom off, put mm -hmm. them in the dirt, and you'll have green onions in six weeks. Wow. And we need to learn that you don't need a big pot of land or even a small pot. All you need is some soil in a pot. That's what you need. Start with that. Grow the things you eat the most. Garlic, easy to grow in the pot. Green onions, easy to grow in the pot. Um, tomatoes, easy to grow in the pot. So many things that we eat every day, we don't need land to do it. We have that concept in our brain. If you can get land, yes. But if you can't, put some land, that's what soil is, in a pot and grow some wow. green onions. Wow, Perfect. wow. Yeah, Thank that's you. that's even more inspirational. That's inspirational. Woo, look at that. We're almost ready so, to talk about let me show you. Let me show you what I got before I put it in the oven at 425. Okay. I'm about to roast mm -hmm. these sweet potatoes mm. that are seasoned with cumin, chili powder, and a little salt. Wow. Oh, look at these gorgeous beets here mm. on the mm. other hand, but on the other side. Look at these gorgeous beets. Oh my god, look at this, y'all. Can y'all see that? Those yeah, are gorgeous. Beautiful. Look at the color on those. Look at the color. And oh, so I have, I have a balsamic vinegar on that with a little um, um, honey, that, of course. And it all comes from the farmer's market, just so you know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's about to go mm -hmm. in the oven at 425. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let them do their thing for about 20 minutes. So I just wanted to show you all that before I popped them in. Thank you. Lovely. Okay. That's great. And <laughs> one, one more little question, and then I'm yeah. going to, and then I'm going to stop picking on you, Joy, because I'm really, really enjoying having you here. I can see why your name is Joy. It was kind of fortuitous there. But um, 
that you you know you talked about the sugar the the sugar um, sweetened beverage tax, and um, and how you started. How did you get involved with that? And and you like just tell us about the planning of that and how that came about. Well, I um, I started working with the Ecology Center, and we were fortunate enough to get a grant to start a program called Farm Fresh Choice. And Farm Fresh Choice who Nia was the director at one time, Farm Press Choice was started to educate children about the importance of eating organic food and using the farmer's market to uh, buy produce, learn how to buy it wholesale, sell it and promote it to families at childcare centers and preschools and other community places. So we started 20 years ago now, oh my God. Uh, 1999, as I said, 2000, we started realizing that in order to change the, this fast food diet and culture we had, we had to start with the children and the families. Because the way it goes, and I learned this when I went to Cuba. When, you go to, when I went to Cuba, I found out that the parents were not into organic. When the Russians took away all their fertilizers and, and stuff, the uh, um, Cuban people were forced to grow organically, which they had done for hundreds of years. And they didn't know how, and they didn't want to. But what they did was they started a program in the school food, made the school food organic. The kids came home and said, I want this. I want that. I don't want this. And that helped them change their whole culture. So I said, let's try it here. So we started nutrition classes with the youth. We went to the um, centers. We talked to the families. We offered them uh, organic food at a wholesale price. Because that's the other misnomer out there or misunderstanding is that organic is more expensive. Mm -hmm. Organic is more expensive if you don't know how to buy it. There's bulk, yeah. at most organic stores, they have bulk food. You can buy as little or as much as you want. You can uh, cook food in advance, get 10 pounds of apples, preserve them. There's a lot of ways to use organic. And to be honest, if you count your health in that um, uh, equation, how important, how much is your health worth to you? Is it worth spending 69 cents on a pound of green beans when you can spend 89 cents and get something that's actually going to pour, um, promote your life, healthy life? So well, we I want to say people, pay now or pay later. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I want people to understand organic is not some yuppie rich people thing. It's the way we um, gardened and grew food for hundreds of years. It just changed in the 40s, in the 50s, mm -hmm. when they had all those chemicals, they had to make some money on it. So they said, oh, we're going to fertilize the plant with this stuff, and now they're killing us. So I just mm -hmm. want people to understand that part. And now, last thing I'm going to say, I love who, the work that Hunia does, because she and I are like the beginning and the end of the process. I'm teaching people how to recognize, appreciate, and grow food, and then she takes that harvest and creates these wonderful dishes. And that's how it should be. And that's the cycle. Um, so the soda tax, this last thing, the soda tax, how that happened. I got a job after the um, uh, Far Fresh Choice program. I moved on. I wanted other people, younger people, to, to uh, move it forward. And I worked for the City Health Department in Chronic Disease Prevention Program. And I was sitting at my desk one day, and someone sent me from the Weldon Johnson Foundation a display of how much sugar was in processed food. So they had a stick of gum and they showed you how much sugar was in there. They had a piece of cake and they showed you how much sugar. And then the last one was a soda, a can of soda. It had 12 teaspoons of sugar in it. 12. Okay. I was like, it's only 12 ounces in the can. It's 12 right. ounces in the can. It was 12 teaspoons of sugar. It blew my mind. It blew my mind. I couldn't believe it. I had been drinking soda all my life. I had no idea. That was the pivotal moment that changed me because then I started researching how much people drank, how it affected our health, where our diabetes was coming from, and all these other explosive things happened in my brain. And I just became locked in on that. I was like, this is one thing we can work on. Soda is not nutritionally valued. There's no reason for us to drink it. We need to get rid of it. Not just soda, but sugar-sweetened beverages. Beverages where so sugar is added to it. So I just do smoothies now, no sugar added. If I use sugar, it's, it's honey or agave or maple syrup. I don't use just that powdered white sugar, brown sugar thing. I don't do that anymore. So that's what I'm going around doing. 
I'm going all over the world. I went to Japan. I went to Cuba. I went to South Africa. Telling people the same thing. We need to get off that liquid sugar. Liquid sugar is detrimental to your health. Yeah, and it's really, I think it's really important too to just um, uh, to point out that the guidance now is to try to cut out the sugar completely, specifically for babies that are um, up to two years old. They don't need anything. They can have whole fruit, yes. whole veggies, yes. you know, um, you don't need to give them even, you don't even need to give them juice. No. Um, you just, you just. Water. They just should give water and breast milk for the first two years. Water, yeah. breast milk, that's all I need. Yeah. And then and this, need, what yeah. I, it's like, I don't know. It's like, what are you drinking right now, Hunia? You drinking something? <laughs> Always drinking my water, baby. Yeah. Me too. Uh, let me see what yeah. y'all drinking. You know how we have to do? We got a toast. What's happening? Toast. This is toast. the toast. This so is the toast. It's like, I got, you got, uh, you got, you got yeah, yeah um, got a bottle oh, of water. Yeah, you, got, you got a bottle of water. You got, you got water. I'm doing something fancy here. I got some uh, basil from my garden. Oh. And I got some, uh, um, because I was eating watermelon, I threw a couple chunks of watermelon in my water. And oh, nice. it's really, yeah. really, really good right well, now. Well, They're I selling that in the market now and making a whole bunch of money by putting two drops of watermelon fruit in the water and selling $5 yeah. for it. And yeah, this I was, this was, was time to see lunch on mine. There you go. Oh. Um, <laughs> delicious. delicious. Yeah. And the only, so one more thing right. I just wanted to say about the, the soda. I want us to look at our language. I'm really into language right now. I think I told you that. We don't, the, some, I want to make a distinction, distinction between sugar and sweeteners. Sugar is a product that's made by man from plants. Sweeteners grow in food. So an apple, a raisin, I mean a grape, a peach, those are sweetened naturally by, by the earth. They're not sugar. Sugar is a product we made. They took the okay. sweetener out and made sugar out of it. So that's important that we make a distinction. We all need sweeteners. We need sweeteners. Who, who, who wants to go through life without a strawberry or an apple? No way. Oh, yeah. But you don't need that powdered sugar, brown sugar, any of that. None of the synthetic mm -hmm. sugars, the fake sugar, diet sugars, whatever. Forget it. Get your. If you want to make a cake and you need some sugar, if you don't want to use honey or agave, um, you can use apples. You can squeeze an apple and get the sweetener out of there and sweeten your cake. It tastes just mm -hmm. as good, if not better. Mm -hmm. There's lots of ways to do it. Well, I really, really, really enjoyed our conversation. It's like, and it's really amazing to 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 get to meet you. Uh, um, uh, and this is this has been really great. I like yeah, it's a, you're somebody and a resource in the community that's been around for a really long time, and we're all doing our thing. Um, it's, it's it's amazing. I've been working in East, in in East Oakland area for so long. It's nice to come out to this side and get to yes. meet some of the folks doing the work over over. Well, thank like, you. Thank you. And this yeah, I also am a collaborator. I work with um, Planning Justice. I work mm -hmm. with. Um, uh, Maya at Soul Flower Farm. I work at yes. Urban Silk. I work yes. with any African American group, Swaye, Spiral Garden. I'm working with anyone and everyone who wants my advice or help in, in helping to get funding is very yes. important and to give them the direction. Collaboration. This is what it is. This is what we're missing or we need more of in our community. We yes. have to okay. go to a Hispanic store or an Asian store. They got all Asians, all Hispanics in here. You go to African American concern, it might be everybody. That's fine too. But I want us to be able to collaborate with each other. We have the resources we need to get better. Yes. Okay. And I just want to uh, give a, a shout out to, um, to, to Mama Joy. She's just always been so supportive of everything that I've been involved in. And our last project at McClymouth High School was just a jewel. Oh it my was. gosh. It was. Um, it, was it was really a jewel. And, and it so, was with Planning Justice too. Yes, Planning mm. Justice as well. And so I want to toast to Ayana, I mean, sorry, Mama Joy. And I and if there's anybody who, oh. who else is participating on Facebook Live or in the or, or Zoom, if you could put in the chat what you're drinking and your salute to Joy, that would be so greatly appreciated. Joe, we yeah. salute you, and we appreciate the work that you are doing in our community. Thank yes, you. I say, yes. Thank, Thank you, Joy. Thank you.
Thanks for having me. Indeed. And thank you, Hani, and, and, and Black Healthy Families. I love the work you're doing. But I know I have to give uh, Hani a shout out too, because she supported me at a time when I really needed some help. And she was there for me. And that's one of the things that I'm Ooh. never going to forget that, that we yes. supported each other. And I know I can call on her and she knows she can call on me. Absolutely. It's all about relationships. There's nothing more important than that except food, water, and sleep. I agree. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what, look, I want to share with you, you the process I'm in. So this is the, I started with the stems of the greens because I don't throw nothing away, right? So I sauteed them in um, an olive oil and, and, and coconut oil. And then I added in fresh minced ginger, garlic, and as you can see, carrots. So Ooh. they've been simmering now since we've been talking. And it just smells so aromatic. Oh my gosh, it's just, wow. And so now I'm going to add some fresh thyme to the mix. Oh, that and looks then, gorgeous. Yes, and then I'm going to uh, throw in some bell pepper and the collard greens. Woo! Ooh. Mm. That was just a nice little segue to our I'm coming over. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to eat some of that. I'm going to come over. <laughs> I know that stuff looks like it smells good. <laughs> now, y'all know. Now, y'all say that every time, but you need to come through for real. Okay. okay. And look, right. at like, look at the colors. I'm going to get your address. <laughs> yes. I did the oh, my God. That nice looks delicious. Ribbons. Yes, 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 yes. All right. As you were. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you yeah. for the update. So I just want to know if does anybody have any questions for Joy? Um or out there? Anybody We're got the any chat. questions? Some questions on the chat. Have you seen on them? On the chat, maybe. Tammy, you want to share any questions with us? The only question I've seen so far is um people want to know how to start a garden at home but i think joy covered that earlier yes yeah, she did she did yeah she did. very very thorough very very yes. thorough i think that one of the one, one of these shows up in the uh future um maybe we can go outside and take a look at gardens that that uh, that are around i like to like i um this morning i found a drawer somebody had a big wooden drawer from a cabinet that they stuck outside and I stopped and I grabbed it because I thought it'd make a great bed for a garden. And so I'm gonna, oh, yeah. I'm gonna do that sometime in the next couple of days, put that together. Maybe we that can good. show folks hey, about that. Can I tell you, the most innovative thing I ever saw was I was in Havana, Cuba. Somebody had a car. They took the seats out and the steering wheel out and everything and put some dirt in it and grew oh a garden my. in the oh my goodness. car. Okay. <laughs> it blew my mind. I was like, oh my God, we could do this. Mm -hmm. It's easy. Save yeah, okay. seeds from the food you eat. You know, we can save, like you eat a cucumber, save a few seeds from it. You eat a tomato, save a few seeds from it. You don't even have to go buy anything. Save exactly. Save seeds. Save those seeds, the bottoms of carrots, the bottoms of green onions, potatoes. Those are all replantable. And, and, and it's, um, it's the, what are they, the new term they're doing? Um, uh, I can't think of it now. My mind, I'm getting so old. I'm 70 years old almost. Congratulations. Regenerative, yes. regenerative gardening, this is what they call it. Where you yeah. take the food you eat, use the roots of it and, or the seeds of it and grow some more food. That's just a magical, amazing thing to me. Right. <laughs> so, um, you know, Mom, how the money from the soda tax is being spent? Yes. Okay. That's a good question. It is a good question because I, I really am a little agitated right now. <laughs> Come on now, talk to us. Tell us Let me you. explain. Yeah. So when we started this, uh, uh, the, the rich men had tried the soda tax and it failed. Okay. And a righteous at indignation about how much money the soda people spent to defeat this thing. So in 2014, uh, we worked, we started work on it. The biggest stumbling block we had was whether or not the politicians would allow us, uh, I won't mention any names, allow us to have a dedicated tax or a general tax. And let okay. me explain the difference. A dedicated tax is, is for one thing specifically, it'll always be for that, and you can't take it away. 
Okay, okay. A general tax is collected, but it can be used for anything. You could call it a soda tax if you want, but if it's in the general fund, it can be used for anything. So for four months, after we got everything straightened out, we decided we wanted to do this. For four months, we argued about whether it should be a general tax or a dedicated tax. The politicians and this million dollar consultant, I won't mention his name either, um, told us that we couldn't pass a dedicated tax because you needed two thirds of the population to vote for it. I, Vicky, and several other people said, no, we need a dedicated tax because this is going to help black people. This is going to help Hispanic people. This is going to help people with no resources. If we don't make it a dedicated tax, the next council who comes in is going to take it away and use it for something else. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. They Absolutely. spent four months arguing with me. They spent they spent a, a million dollars to get a consultant with Bloomberg money to tell us we couldn't pass a dedicated tax. Me and Vicki Alexander were working at the health department. We saw the effects of this. We saw how people gravitated towards not drinking soda. We, we had been doing it for 10 years. So we knew that the city of Berkeley would pass this tax as a dedicated tax. But they didn't put it on there as a dedicated tax. Now it's a general fund. And now we're collecting $3 million a year. But now they want to use the money, some of the money, just a little bit, that's what they say now, a little bit now to help with the COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now, I'm not saying we don't need help with the COVID-19. I do. But look at the irony of it. The people who are suffering the most from the COVID-19 are the ones who are drinking the most soda. And exactly. That's take away well, that and education. The, the, and what they're finding, like I talk, said at the beginning of the, of the program, is I just read yesterday that the science says that even if you don't have diabetes, and even if you're not pre-diabetic, if you're somebody who has COVID-19 and they test your blood sugar um, and yes. you have um, an elevated blood sugar of any type, then you have a higher chance of a, of a bad outcome. Exactly. So it's really important that people regulate how much sugar. So this the um, uh, sugary uh, sweetened beverage tax and the work that we do to help reduce the amount of sugary beverages that, and sugary foods that people are eating are very, very important. Diabetes, obesity, tooth decay. If you don't have teeth, which I know all about that, you can't eat properly. You can't get the nutrition and soda affects all those things. But really, the biggest thing for me is uh, I found out through my research and all my work that there's a, um, a medical journal called The Lancet. And they, made, they did a study 10 years ago, and they estimated that in this country, particularly for African Americans, 60% 60% of the illnesses we suffer from are related to diet, dehydration, mm -hmm. sleep, and lack of nutrition, vitamin D in particular. Now they're finding out with the COVID, the people who are suffering from vitamin D deficiency suffer more than others. So now so, where's vitamin D come from? The yeah. sun. The sun. Tell us, yeah. For three months, they told us stay inside, stay in the mm -hmm. house, don't go outside. And everybody was like, shelter in place, what does that mean? That didn't mean you don't go outside. It meant you don't go with no other people. Mm -hmm. So for three months, we weren't getting an essential vitamin we need to live. Vitamin D, the best source is from the sun. And what a better way than to go out in your garden and grow some beans. That's the way you get the vitamin D. We we actually have a um, a, a newsletter. It's called the Pop Up Times, yeah. where we're and 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 that will be coming out at the beginning of August and will be coming out monthly. Um, but um, we we talk about nutrition and how it affects our health. And the next uh, the um, and we we have been kind of juxtaposing that with with COVID and talking about sugar and sugary sweetened beverages and stuff because of the the strong link, but. The next episode, or the next uh, issue, actually, is going to have an article on the um, the kinetics of nutrition, meaning that the, the exercise and getting out and movement that you can do that can actually create 
nutrients in your body like uh, vitamin D, getting in the yes. sun, getting exactly. exercise in the sun. Yes. Or um, just off the top of my head, another one is good cholesterol. They talk about bad cholesterol and good cholesterol. Yes. Your body actually makes good cholesterol when you're exercising. Yes. So you, you just said that and that made me... And that zinc. Made me, and zinc. That, and zinc. Zinc. Mm -hmm. and zinc. Zinc yeah, comes yeah. from spinach, green food. This is what I'm saying. They just look at the American, average American diet. It's changing now. That's true. First thing is not organic. Second is processed. It's a hamburger on a wheat bun with a piece of pickle and mustard. And we're calling that a sandwich. Okay? The meat in it is 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 being fed corn. Okay? Right. Some of right. its own species. If you look at where, where how they're treating our cow, the cows. So I, I, what I'm saying is we are being compact, com, impacted by the lack of resources, the lack of medical care, the lack of knowledge, and being force-fed this harmful, detrimental, money-making, processed food that's actually killing. It's not and helping us live. And that's what makes the work we do so important. You yeah. know, and and has to be elevated, which is the purpose of this webinar, so that we can continue to spread the word in a bigger way, right? This is a great opportunity. Like this is one of the gifts of this madness, right? Is that we have been kind of forced to share on our platforms on an international scale, you know? Yeah, and so it's, it's it's really awesome, and um, we really get a chance to highlight and zoom in on on the work that we're doing. Ha, Zoom, right? Okay. Absolutely. But anyway, Absolutely. and and so I, you know, I just want to appreciate you for that. And some you 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 mentioned about the whole tax and everything, and it it brought me to this. So what can we do? Like you know, like how? I mean, because you know, there's a part of me that I feel exactly what you're saying. Like you know, the 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 tax should have been, a you know, a designated tax, but it's not, right? Mm -hmm. And so now. So I feel for the COVID thing. So it's a, it's a catch 22, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. how can we, what can we do to kind of help monitor this situation so that it doesn't get out of hand and so that we can kind of keep track with what's happening? Like, are there some meetings that we should be attending? Are there some letters we should be writing? Like, how can, how can we get proactive about this thing? Well, you, you hit it right on the key. This never would have happened without the citizens of Berkeley supporting it. So the okay. only way it's going to stay dedicated is people like you, people who live in Berkeley or care about this, write their counsel. But right now, we're not a threat. We've already, we're already in um, a grant cycle, and we're going to start a new one. Okay. One, of the other, one of the other things I had to fight for, y'all don't know how bloody it was, to get a two-year grant. They want to do a grant every year. I'm like, nobody can even get anything started in a year. What are you talking right. about? So right. we at least have two-year grant. Now we're about to start the new cycle. So what the city manager is telling us, and this is my other complaint about the city, we elect the mayor, we elect these council members, but the people who are really running the city are not elected. Okay. The manager of the city and the attorney, er, the attorneys and the lawyers, they're the ones who are running this stuff. But anyway, um, what's happened now is they're saying they're going to spend a small amount of it from some part. Uh, but it, part of the issue that we're having is we don't even know how much money we have. We don't know how much has been collected. We don't know what we have left. So that's the city manager part. We really okay. need to take care of that. Second, we're having we haven't been meeting since the COVID, so we are trying now. The, the soda tax commission is trying to petition the city to allow us to have a Zoom or, or a virtual meeting so we can discuss any threats too. And we need to assess where we are financially before we can make decisions about putting out the next round of RFP. Yeah, this is a whole yeah. six year work for work that we have to do to get ready. To, give this money out. Now, the money is being spent, I think, wisely in a, in a lot of sense, certainly healthy black families, certainly the ecology centers, certain, the YMCA, I'm a little skeptical about, except they do have the Head Start programs, because the YMCA is an international organization. I don't even see why they need money, but we won't go there. Uh, they are trying to reach out through the Head Starts. Right, right, right. Head Starts are, are, are a great place for us to be. 
Then there's some okay. a few other ones. And then I have a, a few problems with the, the okay, so y'all need to know, because I work for the city, uh, Berkeley Unified School District, I'm not allowed to vote on the grants. Ah. I can okay. put my opinion about how we give out the grants and all that, but I cannot talk about who should get money or who should not because I get paid from the district, or I was. Now, it looks like I ain't going to be paid no more because we can't do no virtual gardening. I don't know how virtual gardening is going to work. Mm -hmm. So we may not even have a gardening program this year. So I may be laid off, which means I'll be able to vote. But it doesn't matter about my voting so much. It's because I have a loud, strong voice, and yes. they do hear me, even though yes. I don't get to vote. And yes. so one of the things I'm hoping, that we, as co-chair of the commission, I mean, as vice chair of the commission, I'm, we and um, Holly are trying to get a meeting together so we can get the information we need from the city to figure out whether we need to call on our citizens to lobby the council okay. to check the city manager, because the city gotcha. manager is the one who's manipulating the money. Gotcha, gotcha. That's so I don't know what's going to happen. Now it's a small amount. I think it's 30000 or something. Okay, but okay. I just thought, but you know how it goes inch by inch, they start taking a 30,000 here and you know, 60,000 there. Who knows? Yes, so I am yes. worried about it. But right at this moment, there's not much to do because we don't know what's actually happening. Okay, perfect, perfect. Hey, Tom, All right. You have to come out and vote for the next measure D and that delay yes. is going to impact the financial health of multiple community based. Yes, yes, because it's gonna expire. I think it has to be re upped in 10 years. And we're halfway there already, right? Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. 2016 and 21, it'll be five years. Mm -hmm. So yeah. there'll be something to worry about. But let's just wait and see. You know what? There have been so many positive outcomes, the reports coming out, how many people stopped drinking so many soda beverages, so many silver linings in this COVID thing too, which uh, Rahima uh, mentioned. Not only are pe more people gardening, more people worried about their food. More people are bicycling, walking, talking to their family. Hey. Oh my God. Talking hey. to their neighbors. It's strange. Like you get exactly. out and people are, it's like people are actually being community with exactly. each other that live near exactly. each other. We got mm -hmm. clean the air. This is the cleanest air we've ever had, ever. Yes. The yes. birds are singing louder than ever. And more they, birds. They, they, birds are having more sex than we are. They're like, oh my the gosh, they are. Gone. We got true. more space. Let's break it out. It's There's true. A lot it's of true. birds around here. It's I'm true. No. A moment of silence for the people who are not, you know, getting that love they need. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, no, it's real though. Like it's real. Like yeah. you know, humans need attention. They do. Humans know. need do. touch. Humans, yes. need, humans need intimacy and oh absolutely it's a it's a, it's so a it's near. A, it's i am a smiling hugging person i yes. hug everybody and i smile all the time now i wear a mask i can't touch nobody you know i'm suffering i have yeah. to go to my niece my poor niece gets all my love she's like nani okay that's enough hugging <laughs> well you know that's why they're recommending now which they you know i've been advocating this from the beginning that we get into hubs, you know, we get into little communities, you know, some mm. agreed upon communities in which we can, um, you know, safely uh, uh, cohabitate, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. like go get, yeah. your, go get your aunties and them out those places and take care, especially those of us who know how to abuse the immune systems and know how to care for each other. Like, because, um, you know, if you get sick and you, and you're, you, you have a wicked, immune system and then you're alone oh my god that's just and you know this is the new normal y'all y'all to everybody think oh we're gonna go back to how it was no nope. this yeah. is the new normal yeah. we need to get what ready I, for it what i like to mention is the last pandemic that we had lasted which was the uh the uh the, the um, swine flu, the, um okay. swine flu yeah. Uh -huh. This is a pandemic. It's like really okay. that was an epidemic. This was this is a the, the SARS Worldwide. didn't get that big, yeah. but um but uh was was the um uh and that was in was was it um uh nineteen eighteen, and that lasted three years. Right. That was what they call the Spanish flu. Yes. Can I tell you about that really quickly? Just like this president we got now is trying to call this the Chinese flu. Can yes. I tell you, historically, they have figured out that what they call the Spanish flu actually started in Kansas. Okay? 
So I, saw this. I saw this. But yes. what it was is they were having this dick, this war in Spain, and they wanted to vilify the Spanish people who were trying to fight for freedom. So they blamed the, the flu on Spain. Yeah. But it started so, in Kansas. So it's always, it's there's always a smoke and mirrors when it comes to these exactly. sort of things. Because it's easier Absolutely. to control people when you're able to divide us. Right. Um, Chinese. The Chinese like, flu. But, you know, kind of ra reining it back in, reining it back in, the whole, the whole point of it is, is this isn't going anywhere that, with that. I'm not even trying to say this is the new normal because we don't know what the new normal is yet. Yes, we yes. are in transition. We need to change our lives and figure yes. out what kind of people we want to be and yes. figure out how we can still be in community with each other and yes. how to be healthy. You yes. know, and yes. the, the yes. amazing yes. thing yes. like you're talking about, both you, Hunia and Joy, um, it, you know, um, figuring out how to touch, figure, you know, like putting creating our own gardens biking getting out you know uh, you know getting nutrition that we take into our bodies by eating and drinking water um, and eating fruits and vegetables getting out and getting fresh air and getting the, sc the sun on our skin and getting physical activity these are all things that are really really important and if you think about what god does if you believe in you know if you believe in that is or like the or the, the universe or this planet the higher the power the higher power the that's higher right. power there your you higher Thank power you the name what it's doing with this virus is basically telling us smacking us down and telling us we got to go back to basics yep. it's called it's called get your house in order get yeah. your house in order get your house in order <laughs> heal thyself yeah. Take care of one another. Love each other more deeply. You know, now's the time. Yeah. Speaking of love. Oh, I've been looking at that. I can't, can't, couldn't wait till you talk about it. That looks that so good. good. So I have added the, I have added the coconut milk and the squash, and I've added extra time because I love time. You know, and there's bell peppers and all this good stuff. And so I'm gonna let this simmer now for another 15 minutes or so. And it's going to be good to go. And then at the end, I'm going to put fresh cilantro because I put cilantro in everything. Mm -hmm. The cilantro is just like... So how are we going to virtually I eat that? Smell how that can we now. virtually eat that? I need to eat, eat some. How are we going to do that? Well, how are we going to do that is in a few minutes, I'm going to try it and you're going to energetically feel the joy <laughs> in my body <laughs> and know that you too are healed by this medicine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that okay. is one of the saddest things about all of this. I've been very lucky that I've been able to come to the garden. I was getting paid in through, through June. I brought my niece here and my family here, and we just had the whole garden to ourselves. But the sad thing is now, going forward, how I'm trying to figure out how do we do virtual gardening. I'm going to have lessons on the computer, I guess, send kids pots and seeds through the mail, maybe, and have them, you know, plant some stuff. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I got to do something because I don't want to let this go. Because what we're teaching and what we're promoting and what we're about is what's going to save us in the end. So yes. to stop that is going to really hurt me, and I got to figure it out. I just don't I, know I'd how to do to, it. Yet. I'd love to collaborate mm -hmm. with you on that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. And here's another update. Here are the sweet potatoes. Oh, oh my gosh. And, and there are the beets. Oh, yes. That will take delicious. long at all, huh? No, nope. no at all. So um, when you started the smoothie. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let me show you what I got. So I already have the blueberries in. And what you, this liquid you see here mm -hmm. is um, sea moss. Ooh. Ooh. Sea moss, cinnamon ginger and uh, oat milk okay I've been, I've been falling down on the falling down on the job a little bit here because i was so been so excited about but i wanted just to say that blueberries are really really high in antioxidants they have yes. a lot of vitamin a vitamin vitamin c um there's uh um uh in sea moss as quiet as it's kept it's a really really nutrient dense um a uh, sea plant that yeah. you can get and it's really good as a thickener but it is really really high in iodine it's really oh, really sea high. 
Seaweed is good too. Seaweed. We should eat yes. more seaweed. Seaweed. Yeah, but yes. that's not that's not in my smoothie. Yeah. So, so she's talking about the, the sea moss. It's high in iodine. It's high in a lot of of, of, of trace minerals that are a, a lot are are harder to get. Um, um, it's like you know being somebody who. Uh, is um, really, really needs the iodine in my diet. It's, it's really great to get that that way rather than eating salt because a lot of doctors will say, oh, if you need more iodine in your diet, eat salt. And, you know, yes. a lot of us cannot do that. So um, sea moss is really, really great for that. And um, really it's delicious. And it uh, um, and, and, uh, um, creates a really nice balance in the food. Where would yes. you find sea moss at? Oh, um, I, I, got, I got my sea moss at the, excuse me, hold on, my timer just went off. I got my sea moss at our Jamaica store on 41st and Broadway here in Oakland. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, you, they got the, they have the best uh, selection for, you know, all the um, tropical f foods, you know? So I got like nice fresh from them. Yep. Um, yeah. But I I, I want to ask y'all to mute me real quick so that I can blend this uh, smoothie right quick. Okay. And I'll just, while she's being muted, I just wanted to say that you can also get sea moss at Mandela Grocery, which is on 7th Street, across the street from the, um, the uh, BART station, the West Oakland BART station. And um, you can also get it online. It's in packages. It's dry. Um, and um, if you're living in a place that... Um, it's a little bit difficult to get it um, by going into a Asian store. Communities, the Asian stores have them. The, the Asian, Asian stores have them, or like, you know, the Jamaican stores or the Caribbean stores, you can get them there as well because it's, it's very popular for a lot of, of food. And um, yeah, and I can see here that, um, uh, that um, uh, uh, Mama Ayana it says that sea moss can also be found at the Jamaican store on 41st. Oh, that's what um, Huni was just saying. And she, okay, she's just, um, you know, talking about that. Oh, and she's also mentioning the food mill. The food mill for people who are in the area of um, going toward East Oakland um, in the, 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 uh, um, the fruit bale area, you can get it there too. Um, and ooh, there it is. That's that beautiful, beautiful smoothie. So you're going to need to just unmute and then we can see what that is. That looks delicious. It's still muted. What happened? What are we going to okay. have here? Okay, here there we go. go. So before I blended it, I, my thought was that I was going to call it blue magic, right? But it actually turned out more purple. So because purple is my favorite color, I'm going to call it purple bliss. And I'm going to mm. taste it for you all. Mmm. Oh, that looks delicious. It is so delicious. Mm. So I will, so let me tell you what's in here. So there's uh, oat milk, sea moss, blueberries, bananas, peanut butter, Ooh. and frozen grapes. Mm -hmm. I get all my, uh, when I'm preparing for smoothies, I buy everything from the farmer's market and I chop it all up and put it in the freezer for my smoothies. So, so that is a smoothie that has high protein with uh, peanut butter and and it has a lot of potassium. It has mm -hmm. a lot of, uh, that is a really, really nutrient rich way of eating and, and, um, and getting a lot of, a lot of food. In and your I, made this, like I made this smoothie. as a meal replacement. Mm -hmm. I, I've been working on a lot of, you know, like really trying to rest my system as much as possible. So I've been experimenting mm -hmm. with these different things. So, and blueberries are most definitely in season. So go oh, to the yes. market. Oh yes, I actually have a little blueberry bush. And this morning I picked, I only got five because I've been eating them as I go. So there's only <laughs> five left right there. But I grabbed the five little blueberries and I and I ate them. It's like, they're, it's just, you know, a fun All thing right, to do. check. We supposed to be doing a poll, huh? We only got two minutes. Yes, we are. We do. Thank you so, so much. We actually, like, you know, I've, I've put it in there. We, we, and so it's time to get that poll up and going. So um, we can put that out there. I'm going to launch it right now. And what I want to say to everybody who is out there, please go ahead 
and fill in the poll. Everybody who fills in the poll and also gives us their, it, we, we have their, uh, um, their information, uh, their email. We will be sending you a $20 uh, um, incentive uh, um, uh, that you can use at the store that has been provided. Probably it'll probably be something like Safeway or or Food Max or something. It depends on which one we get, but that's a nice little chunk of change that can help and augment the fruits and veggies yes. going on. Yep. Put your email in the chat for us, too, so we can um, reach out to you. For those of you who may not have registered, that would be mm -hmm. awesome. In the Facebook yeah. and as well as the chat, a uh, Zoom yeah. chat, please. We, we can reach out to you. We can send you the, um, send you the survey um, so you can fill it out. And we can also send you um, uh, the recipes uh, that Hunia is providing for us today. And if you want to reach me outside of here, you know, you need some personal chef services, you know what I'm saying? Some <laughs> meal planning, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, I, you know, I can, we can do a virtual one-on-one. -on -one. You open your refrigerator door and I tell you what you can create just based on what I see in there. I'm, I'm really good at that. Um, it's small fee, of course, but you can reach me at whoneaskitchen.com, uh, whoneaskitchen at gmail.com, H-U-N-I-A-S kitchen at gmail.com you can also see me on uh, facebook or instagram and i ain't afraid you can text me at 510-228-7596 and you can't be no worse than these uh bots that keep calling me trying to sell me auto insurance for the car i don't have so I, it's all good. <laughs> go ahead and text me and i will ha be happy to respond to you and support you in this endeavor because i understand that, you know, it's a challenge, you know, to eat healthy in these times. You know, I'm I'm guilty myself. I go in here and I create some little fabulous snack. And then 15 minutes later, I, I see myself um, going back and I hear my mother's voice. Uh, you just ate. So I get it. I get it. <laughs> I get it, you know. So I'm, I'm more than it, It's a little food. hard when things are delicious, too. Because we, yeah. we've been... We've been put in that position where we you know we can be gluttonous especially you know that's why it's good to get out there and get moving so we're not so eating I, I agree with Hunia and I'm I'll send you the bean pie recipe okay and, and um I'm I'm doing right now I'm focusing on basil and lime sorbet oh nice. a lot of basil and lime sorbet I'll send that recipe as well and, yeah. and you can, you can connect, you can uh, email me at joy at kpfa.org. Beautiful. If you so need help with I've, gardening, gardening help. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to, um, um, in and, uh, you know, since we seem to be wrapping this up, we're getting to the end of the programming while you guys are still doing your, um, your thing and, and filling in the questions. I wanted to just say that um, that next week we will be here at the same time and same place. We will have a new guest. We will have recipes that will be being made, and you can learn how to cook something um, delicious and you nutritious, and nutritious, delicious. And we will always be drinking that water and. Um, so you know, I want to thank you and acknowledge the um, uh, that the the workshop is also funded by the City of Berkeley, Healthy Berkeley, and um, just uh, let you know that please send us um, your email so we can send you the link to the survey and so you can get the uh, um, the incentive. And um, for next week, spread the word. We'll be here at the same time, same place, and you'll be in, um, and the more people, the merrier, and that can, uh, that can benefit from this, right? Amen, I say, so it is. Yes. Thank Toast you. Toast to you all. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Joy. Black family. Thank you. All Love right. You. Okay, I'm going to close this out now. We're at okay. the end of that. Okay. I don't need a... Bye-bye, Bye, Bye, Bye Mama. Thank you, Joy. Bye, Bye Joy. Bye. Mm, I love you. It was good to see you. I you can stop the recording. That'd be good. Okay. All right.
All right. Let's keep, let's keep the move. Let's keep the meeting, but uh, pause the recording. Okay. <laughs>